Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I want to go ahead and go over my budget low-life righteous fire character. Um, it is not nearly as geared as my previous righteous fire character. Um, and I am actually running it with a Solaris Lorica and a Rise of the Phoenix. Now this character to get to where he's at right now will take about maybe 200 to 250 chaos. Um, and the reason why I say that is you still need, and I know that's not a fucking budget, but just accept it. You need a vertex because it's going to give you the extra plus one, which is going to allow you to essentially not have to use a level three enlighten and not have to use a level 21 blood magic. So you can actually use a vertex with a 20 blood magic and a level two enlighten, which is going to allow you to run a discipline and purity of fire on your actual life pool. Otherwise, you cannot, it just won't work. Even if you try to use the, the jewel for it, it's just not going to work. So, I want to go ahead and explain what this variant does. Now, this variant is using healthy mind jewels. And the reason why is energy from within are about 100 chaos. So, I'm trying to be as efficient as possible. So, if I take out these healthy minds, you can see they don't give like a crazy amount, but they're still pretty decent. So, these one chaos jewels are actually adding up. So, 9.6k ES ends up going to, oops, and ba -doop. there, you get about 1000 energy shield. And again, they're one chaos. So what they do is they essentially take your life nodes, right? And they turn them into mono nodes instead, right? The other cool thing is if you were to, if you came through here, you could like change this entire wheel, but I'm not specking into mana nodes. So this character is literally like the exact same as the previous Righteous Fire character. It's just you replace your energy from within with healthy minds and healthy minds may even end up being better later on, um, you know, potentially if you grab like inspiration, but that's for another time for another test. I don't know. I'm not doing that right now. So let's talk about again, required items. You'd need a vertex with a 20 blood magic with a level two enlighten. A presence of Cheyula, highly recommended, um, and Delirium Gloves. Your gloves don't have to have that much ES, but they're pretty much required. So I'm going to go over my links, and then I'm going to show a quick map. Now, pretty much everything is required here. If you want to try to change out some stuff, that's totally fine. So I've got Rallying Cry, Clarity, Summon Stone Golem. You can use Enduring Cry if you chose to, and that's in my Ephemeral Edge. Inside my Vertex, I've got Blood Magic, Discipline, Purity of Fire, and Lighten, right? On my Rise of the Phoenix, I've got Vitality, Purity of Ice, Purity of Lightning. Now, ideally, you could drop a Purity and run like a Blasphemy Flammability, and that's totally cool as well. I just don't have the resistance, or I, I just can't swap out stuff right now. Um, on my Boots, I'm using Sintrek, which are like one chaos. I've got Shield Charge, Added Cold, Faster, Attacks, Fortify. Personally, I don't really like using Added Cold. I'd like to use Increased Critical Strike Chance to help keep up Elemental Overload, but I don't have added Elemental Damage on either of my rings. Uh, for my, uh, what is it? My belt? I don't know why. I was about to say for my energy shield. I'm using a baited breath, which gives me like about 700 energy shield. I don't really think it's, I can actually check how much it's worth right now. Baited breath is going for a total of one chaos. So there you go. Uh, and then, yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's pretty much how that goes. I'd also highly recommend a Witchfire Brew because you don't have to like run double blasphemy and stuff. So that's pretty cool, right? So Witchfire, I've got one Ruby, which is freezing chill, a... Curse removal, shock removal, blade removal. Remember that sulfur does give you an increased damage, which is pretty nice for your character. Uh, so that pretty much runs that. Um, we also have, I guess, a Vol Lightning Trap that just chills there. And yeah, let's go ahead and show the character. Oops, I just weapon swapped. Uh, see, this is where editing would come in handy, but you know, editing doesn't really work like that. So um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, just fix that. So again, on the mana pool, we've got Purity of Lightning, Vitality, Clarity, Purity of Ice, and on Life we have Purity of Fire with Discipline. Now I've only run one map, so this might be a really fucked map. So we've got Crit Multi, Turbo, Multi Proj, Poison on Hit, and I'm going to run a Breach in it, so my butthole's going to pucker and I'm going to be kind of scared. <clears throat> we've also got... 89 fire, 79 cold, 80 lightning, and the values are going to be changing a bit, and that's because they just did a patch recently to change the way rounding of auras works, so I don't know the exact numerics I need for an extra max res, but this is what we're working with right now. Again, highly recommended that you use a ES shield with reduced damage taken from overtime effects and a shavs, 
because that'll put you to like 16k ES, which is considerably more fucking damage. All right, let's get it going. Now, where's my golem? Mr. Golem, bro. Now, I'm using on my Righteous Fire um, Conch Effect instead of Ink AoE. And the reason why I decided Conk over Ink AoE is I just feel I don't have the damage, really, to run um, Ink AoE. Like, you can use it. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. It's just, if you really, like, I feel like if you want to use Ink AoE, you just need a bit more damage. And that's what Shavs would give me and, you know, a bunch of other stuff that you can use, too. So I know a lot of people are also going to ask, uh, what about the the new unset rings that you can use for like the plus the level and that's totally cool, too But I run my purity of fire on blood magic um, In my vertex. So again, that's something you kind of have to work around and see uh, How you like it because everybody's gonna play it a little bit differently So it's not too bad right now again with ink AoE it would be much bigger AoE, but we just don't have the damage for that right now Man, there are fucking bears. Like, that was a double bear pack. That's rude. I would also highly recommend using or doing Uber Lab before you play a Righteous Fire character. Because every single node that you get is fucking really good. The only one I would say, like, you could wait on would be uh, the... What is it? The one that says... Let's see, I'll just pop this Elrion and look at it for you guys. Which would be this one. This would be your last one. Prayer of Glory. Which basically states that when you use a Warcry, you gain an attack speed, movement speed, and cast speed buff for 4 seconds, which is the exact cooldown of the Warcry. But it also makes it instant cast, which is really nice. Because if it's instant cast, you don't really have much of a stutter. And if you don't have much of a stutter, it's, it's just cool because it's like, uh, I don't know, it just feels like way smoother, you know? Alright, we got a Breach, and I'm fucking scared. I haven't done a Breach on this character yet, and it's a crit multi-map, so here we go. I think we'll be okay, though. Ten minute Mesa. Nice fucking memes here, kids in chat. We're not trying to play these fucking AIDS, Vol, Spark, fucking retard <laughs> builds. Come on now. Be creative! This is why the community can be so shit sometimes. You guys aren't creative at all. <laughs> you gotta be fun. You gotta invest all your currency in the bills that don't do anything. Alright, let's pick up this. <laughs> Pox Rage. I love it, dude. Casually pokes my keyboard. Hashtag Rage. Well, I guess a casual poke to me is like a fucking giant taking a shit on you guys. Low life RF creative. Wow, dude. Twitch chat is fucking mean. YouTube, do you guys hear this shit? I can't wait for the YouTube comment. We're gonna have YouTube versus Twitch in the comments. Feels bad that I missed like so many mobs down there that I didn't notice. And here's the single target. If I could ever like, there we go. It's not too bad. This is not with elemental overload. It hasn't brocked yet, unfortunately. Excuse me, elemental overload. Can you please proc? Oh, well, no elemental overload. But hey, we got returned, so hashtag worth. Anyway, that's pretty much going to be the quick run for you guys. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can always uh, check out my stream live at twitch.tv slash pox. And if you guys have any questions, all you have to do is come into my chat, type exclamation mark profile. You can see all of my characters linked on here. This character name is pox something. You can also type exclamation mark rf which will also pull up all of your, or I guess the previous, uh, the previous character from before in the previous league that did Shaper. So anyway, hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you boys enjoyed yourself, and I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.